just to just to wrap, wrap up, I guess um, for today we've had a very very interesting discussion. Just to wrap it up, I guess uh, we've we mentioned a lot of mustahab acts, what recommended acts we should do. But can you touch upon just very very quickly in terms of the makro or the the acts we should stay away from? During Muharram time, the makro acts. There's nothing really specific, specifically makro that you should not do this or should not do that. But there is like guidelines of what's appropriate and not appropriate. Mm. And during Muharram, it's not really appropriate for you to go out and, and celebrate and for you to go out and enjoy um, and you to go out and, and, and they even say to some extent be smiling and things mm. like that. It's all, I mean, like it's I said, it's etiquette, isn't it? It's etiquette, etiquette but it's things. like behave in a way that as if one of your own yeah. has died, exactly. your own grandfather or your uncle or your own father has passed away and how would you behave in, and, and, and behave in that manner? I remember when we were growing up and you know, even celebrating birthdays was just a big, yeah. big no-no and no, he's like, you know, you're not having it. Pakistan can be no, Muharram Safar and it's not happening. And you'd be like, oh, I'd have to wait two that. months after yeah. Muharram Safar for me to celebrate, but that was... Then your parents tell you, well, next yeah. year then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's true. I think it's absolutely, it's the etiquette and it's really um, bringing that message home, isn't yeah. it? Um, yeah, it is. And for the future generations so that they learn, we are their role models and 